Hey guys, so I found this 24-inch um, bathroom vanity sink combo. It's a wall-mounted cabinet. I found it on Amazon, and we're going to be building it today, so let's get to it. So when it arrived, it came in two packages. That one is the ceramic sink, and I already opened the other box. It came with all of these laid out here I organized them into little dish trays here screws these are the um, door parts and some more tools here are the they're numbered laid out that's the mirror mirror and they came nicely packaged in bubble wrap right here and if I haven't mentioned this before I'm gonna have the link down uh, in the description bar below I'll try to add an affiliate at some point once I get more you know subscribers please subscribe and like the video <laughs> um, it looks more complicated than it is but the instructions have pictures right here and you're just gonna add these little pieces right here to each one of those. You don't need much. Um, you can do it with just the screwdriver, but a drill will come in handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill this into the first hole and you'll see how you will do these green parts to each and all of those So you're basically going to do the same thing to all of these holes that you see. Like this one here. And I will show you in a few seconds what it will look like when they're all in. And here's what it looks like. They're all in and I had one screw left over at the end. This company does very well in giving you extra parts um, or hardware if needed, or if you lose one. So we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the packaging and you're gonna line them up on the screw, the green screw part. And I'll show you in a few seconds what that will look like. So just like this, it's nice and straight. We're gonna take the silver part here and insert it in. You can take your screwdriver and just twist it and it's that simple. It will lock it in place. So now you're gonna take the other parts and place them right on top of these and put the screws on top as well. And you'll see in the video how that looks.
So once you've got them all connected, you take the last part and put it on top right here and do the same thing. Get the screws, get your screwdriver, screw it tight and it should lock it and secure it in place. I skipped over um, screwing them all in but you're basically just gonna fill all of the rest of the holes here and right there make sure to not leave any and then they also came with these little covers so I just go went ahead and snapped them on they weren't that um, like they didn't hold in place very well. You can see one that's fallen right there down in the right hand corner. Um, but I just, it's okay. <laughs> it's mostly in the back that didn't, that didn't uh, stick on. And we're gonna continue on. This is step five right here. And we're gonna get the uh, little L bracket things. The angle brackets and we're gonna place them on here they already had some pre-drilled holes not very well aligned I'm not sure why but a um, little bit a little bit of elbow grease and it you know went right in just like that and I went ahead and did all eight sides <laughs> Once you're done with this side, go ahead and finish on the other side. Like this. Perfect. Now that I got the bottom on, I went ahead and put the top part on. And you'll know it's the top part because it has a little hole um, in the middle and that's where the sink goes in that's where I'm holding it by so I align them with the screws just like this and same thing just secure them lock them in place like this and try to put that cover on Let's see if it stays this one didn't now we're moving on to the door 
and these just went on very easily just screw them on like so And flip the cabinet on its side to make it easier and just place that door on top of the cabinet. Once it's secure, just go ahead and screw them on. check to make sure that it's working and it was perfect Now, once I finished, uh, check that it's aligned and mine wasn't, so I just uh, adjusted on the screws, tighten, tighten it, and it also shows you in the instructions which, uh, which one is to move it higher or lower or side to side, the height, depth, side to side adjust adjustments, and which screws to tighten and honestly I just fidget with all of them and you know trial and error and it ended up working out
finally done building this thing. It took a while, but I got it done. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Here's the finished product. It's looking real nice. I added a backsplash here. I only had to buy like three little squares to make it easier. This is how the sink attaches. It's pretty self-explanatory. Connecting the, um, the sink. It does move. We haven't been able to figure that one out, but it's okay. We just move it back in place. Um, I didn't add the little shelf thing. Didn't find it necessary to add. And I like the cabinets because they're self-closing kind of cabinets. Gentle close. And now we have that extra free space underneath, which is amazing. But there it is, guys. <laughs>